Hey guys, what's up? My name's Jason. I'm here with Damon, and we're gonna compare his ARB Twin to my $100 Napa compressor. I recently picked up this Napa Maxitrack compressor, and this is a twin piston compressor. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, because the claims that are made by Napa is that this is actually technically at $100 faster than this ARB, which is $600. Now, I'm not gonna claim that this is anywhere near the same build quality or anything like that. If you don't have $600, then maybe you could look at something like this. This was, I believe, 114 bucks, and, and I had to make it fit in here with a C4 battery tray. Um, I have a video on that I'll put up here, but um, this is more of a custom job, much cheaper. This is a nice, nice, clean setup here, and yeah, you're gonna pay for what you get. It's 600 bucks. But what we're looking at today is not a head-to-head -head comparison of quality and all of that. We're just gonna talk about the speed of these two compressors and see which one is the faster compressor. So first we tried a timed trial with both of our inflation and deflation devices. We just wanted to make sure there wasn't an advantage of one of them. Um, we discovered that the one on the right, the green one, did have a slight advantage. So we decided that we would both try each system to get a more accurate result. Obviously we ran these compressors with the engines on to get the fastest results. Two, one. So I had just gotten this compressor a few weeks before, so I don't have it wired in yet, but it can be wired in just like the ARB if that's something you wanna do. So one downside to the Napa compressor is that it uses a Japanese style fitting. So if you wanna use one of these four tire inflation devices like the ones we have, you'll have to do a little bit of modification, which I do cover in a separate video. Three minutes, 20 seconds, 37 PSI. Six, six minutes. So we actually swapped the um, inflation devices to make sure that it wasn't an error with the inflation devices. So let's go ahead and start that. Three, two, one. About three minutes. This is uh, a little bit after the three. So we finished the um, head to head of the ARB and the Napa compressor. So we did have some gauge discrepancies. So that's why we kind of tested each other's setups um, either way. Do you know that this was at worst, I believe maybe what, two, two times as fast? But yeah, so the claim that this is faster than the ARB twin is um, as far as we can tell, very much correct. 
Um, as far as the amount of time it took us both um, per second, per minute to air this up, we can't be 100% accurate because with three different gauges, we got three different readouts, all pretty close, but within maybe like three or four um, PSI. If you're looking at the ARB and you're looking at the Napa and you can afford this ARB, this thing is still very fast. It's very clean and it just, I know that this is gonna last a lot longer than mine is. So if you don't wanna spend $600, you wanna just spend maybe a hundred bucks and um, hope it lasts a long time, this is the way to go. I'm willing to take that risk and getting it in here, getting the compressor in here, um, I already did that with my old one, so it wasn't a big issue. Like I said, I'll link that video here to how I got this compressor in there. You do have to tilt this because it's a very tight fit. So yeah, I think this was a pretty good comparison of um, which compressor is gonna be faster. And like I said, the build quality is likely gonna be better on this one. This has no warranty on it. So, you know, try that at your own risk, but yeah. I would say I'm pretty happy with the way the Napa compressor went. Of the ARB and the Napa awning. <laughs> I didn't catch it. Damn.